In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create this integration effect using Photoshop. Hey what's up guys, Drool here and in this video I'm gonna use this image and this set of brushes that I found on deventart.com here. So 249922500, these brushes. I will zoom in the editing. So these two things are from deventart.com and if you want to use them, the download link is in description so feel free to use it. So first of all, let's unlock the background and hit OK. Now I'm going to remove the branding using my crop tool. Uh, they provide really good stock. Check them out. Uh, so let's remove this thing uh, like this and I'm going to hit OK. After that, uh, the image is fine, but I think it's a bit more overexposed for what I need. So I'm going to image adjustment and go to shadows and highlights. Do not think, just simply hit OK and your job is done. After that, we need to cut her from the background so that we can manipulate it. So I'm going to go and select my quick selection tool from here and make a quick selection around her. And the background is white, so it should not be a really difficult job. So a couple of clicks here and there should get it done. So that seems fine. Let's remove a bit from here. So let's go to minus one and then remove this bit from here. Great. Uh, and uh, let's add a bit from here. So let's go here and add it. Great. Uh, after that, uh, you have this mask option here, uh, click on that, so as you can see the background is away. Create a new blank layer from here and then put it down here. And then select your paint bucket tool, where is it? And then fill in the white color, like this. Go back to your mask here, right click and select refine mask. Now refine mask will allow us, us to make her hair look better. So for that, uh, first of all, uh, let's paint a bit here, see how it works, great. And after that, I'm gonna paint here where I think her hair would be. So that's nice and another painting here like that. So this just makes it look really natural and better. So I'm gonna paint a bit here and there, so like that. Uh, it seems awesome, uh, like that. And let's see the original one and this one, see, really cool and then hit OK. Now we need to make another copy of this image. So I'm going to press Ctrl J and then I'm going to double click and rename it, let's say stretch, works fine. And then uh, shut this thing down for a while, we do not need it. Now let's focus on this thing here. This is the most important part using the brush. So I'm going to go here to my brush panel and select any of the brushes that I downloaded. So this one seems really nice uh, and let's select the mask. Now I'm going to make them smaller. Now you don't need to do every time right click and make it smaller and you won't even know how small it will get. You can use your big bracket keys to make it smaller and bigger like that. So it works really nice. Now the concept behind brush and mask is that if I paint with my black color, so it will remove this thing, simple. And if I paint with my white color, uh, it will bring it back. As you can see, it is coming back. Can you see? Let's try it with the simple brush. And then if I paint with white color, it's, it is bringing it back and the black color removes it. That's the only thing you need to know. So uh, I'm going to go here and select this thing uh, and select any of the regular brushes. I mean the ones I downloaded. Go here to the mask and make it smaller. And then I'm going to paint with, as you can see, black color and remove most of this side area because I don't need that thing at all. So this will take some while. and. Uh, I'm gonna fast forward this thing so you guys can see how I change the brushes how many times. So here it go. Okay, so ba the first part is done. It is really not that simple, but it takes some time. After that, uh, remember the stretch image, now turn it on. So this is the regular copy of the image. Now right click on it and select apply layer mask. So what it does, like it's a regular image, now you don't have any mask. After that, uh, select this one, go to your filter and then go to liquify here. In the liquify, first of all, uh, you are going to use this tool. Uh, but before that, here is option called freeze mask. And now I'm going to paint half of the image with this freeze mask thing. The image is high resolution and my PC sucks balls. So please deal with it and uh, it's slow as working speed. 
you know it's i5 processor and still ah it's it's pretty old pc though so after that uh, it seems nicer so this portion will not get affected so now let's go and select this uh, tool that i showed you before and then i'm going to stretch this thing now this doesn't have to be way too much like be a little bit more sensible even though this is gonna look ridiculous no matter what you do but uh, this seems fine uh, not way too much okay now hit okay great uh, looks ridiculous I know so this time I'm gonna apply another layer mask and uh, then select my bucket tool and fill in the black color so the image is still there but it is hidden so now only thing we have to do is uh, go to your brush tool and then start painting with the white color on the mask of this stretch image. So I'm going to click here once and here once with different brushes. So let's go here and select another brush uh, like this and make this brush a bit smaller. So click here and here. So the big particles look really nice on this kind of things and then let's go back and select another brush so this one looks also nice they are almost same but at the same time they're not really same so uh, this is fine like this looks great but the problem with this thing is that no matter how much you click uh, it will still reveal the kind of shape of the like actual image so how do you deal with that that is really simple go to your layer one create a new blank layer in between now you already have this really cool brush so now you hold on your alt key and sample any color from her skin like that and then click once here so if you zoom in you can see like you are creating another particles in the air but really far away from her face and then change the brush uh, from here and then make sure it's the same layer okay and then click a bit here and something like that here not that much or like it is not it should, it should not look ridiculous even though we are te technically creating something that is fading away from a human skin but you get the point and uh, so that seems fine now it's time for the fine tuning so go back to your original layer this one and this time all you have to do is just patch up things here and there which you might think like doesn't look good so I'm gonna paint with white color a bit here and there to make it look like fade better and stuff like that so let's make it smaller and yeah, even though it might not look to you like noticeable but it can make a difference I can always go back and change stuff here and there like that see looks nice so this way you can create this effect now uh, we need to do some final touches so for that create another adjustment layer and this time I'm gonna select vibrance and add a little bit of color so that it looks nice you know a bit colorful and stuff like that and then create another adjustment layer and select brightness contrast and I'm gonna increase some brightness so the particles and the whole image like blends in with the background and stuff like that so you get the point so that seems really nice and you can always like go back here and increase the brightness a touch if you want it's your personal choice so that's it for this video I really hope you learned something and if you did hit that like button so I can know plus if you have any questions or suggestion uh, ask me in the comment section below and before you leave, I would like to tell you that in the past, I have already done this type of effect, but using completely different brushes and textures and stuff like that. So if you want to check out that video, you can click the box on the right. Or if you want to check out another some crazy Photoshop effect, you can click the box on the left. Plus, you can click on that subscribe button. So every time I upload a new video, you will get an update. Plus, it will take you to my channel where I have more than 70 plus free Photoshop tutorials just waiting for you. <laughs> so check them out. Uh, till then, goodbye, take care, and have some fun with Photoshop.